hey guys welcome you all in a new video and this video is totally dedicated for those customers who's using samsung android smartphone i mean to say if you're using samsung android smartphone of any series a series m series f series any kind of series of samsung and smartphone if you're using here and your uh, samsung android smartphone is locked due to forgotten pin pattern and password lock and you uh, want to visit service center then don't worry at all in this video i will show you how you can unlock your smartphone without visiting any service center and the main thing is that when you go to the hard reset mode after hard reset mode you will have to switch on your phone and you will get a such type of display when you comes on this display here it will ask you your gmail id and password okay so if you have gmail id and password so you can simply i mean to say if you have remember a gmail id and password you can easily access uh, this method and unlock your smartphone but if you don't have remember a gmail id and password i will show here how you can bypass your frp here i mean to say how you can bypass your gmail id and password if you don't have remember so be with us in this video your uh, samsung android smartphone will be unlocked 100 percent definitely at the end of this video so let's uh, start this method okay so firstly uh, when you will switch on your smartphone after your hard reset and factory reset you will get a such type of display here you will get a uh, welcome pop-up and a welcome display here you will get a three option the first option is showing here you can see here the first option is language the second one is start and the third option is emergency call okay simply you will have to go to the start button here you will have to check all these options and click you will have to click to all agree here and go with the agree option simply you will have to slide down you will get an option to click here agree click on this agree option now after this you will have to connect your wi-fi here because it's mandatory to go with this method you will have to connect your phone to the wi-fi i mean to say your phone should be connected to the internet after that when your phone will be connected you will have to click on this next option when you will go to the uh, next option let's check here what's happening here now here you can see it's asking my pattern lock okay so if you have locked your smartphone with the help of pin or pattern that will ask on this page okay but if you don't have remember your pin pattern and password so simply you can go with this option use my google account instead simply you will click on this and when you will click on this google account and set you can see here here you will get a page here it's asking your gmail id with the help of password or your phone number with the help of password so if you have remember your gmail id and password you can go through with this page or otherwise if you don't have remember your gmail id and password so here i will show you some uh, tips and tricks by which you can get a skip option on this page you can see here here there is no any skip option on this page so i will show how you will get here a skip option so simply after this you will have to go to the back option again you will have to go and you will have to reach to the start option i mean to say start page okay here you will get an option of language simply you will have to click on this language option and you will have to select the language english uk click on this english uk and okay now here you will get an option of emergency call simply you will have to click on this here you will have to use a special ussd code that's ussd code is a star has zero and a star has when you will uh, dial this star has zero star has you will get a new page like this you can see here here you will get a lots of option but you will have to go with the option of version simply you can see here there is an option of version simply you will have to click on this when you will click on this option uh, it will show your phones all the versions here simply you will have to wait on this space for five seconds after that you will have to go to the back button now here you will get an another option that is showing here sensor simply you will have to click on this sensor option and when you will click on this sensor option here you will get a uh, lots of synchronizing uh, uh, synchronizing here so you will have to wait for this synchronization synchronization for five seconds after that again you will have to go to the back option okay now the page works has been done here now after that again you will have to click to the back here back okay now after that you will have to click on this start option you will have to check all this agree and go to the agree option again you will have to click on this agree okay now here you will have to press the volume up button and the power button at the same time to switch on your phone's talkback options so do this method click on this use option again you will have to do the same okay, 
now here you will have to draw a left opposite L here okay now you will get a pop-up of while using this app simply you will have to click on this you will have to click on this use voice command option you will have to double tap on this option open google assistant open setting now when your setting option will be appear on your phone display simply you will have to switch off your talkback on for this you will have to again repeat that method volume up button and the power button at the same time and release now here you will get a lots of option you can see here there are lots of option on this page the first option is showing here samsung account okay so simply you will have to go to the back option here you don't have to use this option you will have to go to the option of lock screen option okay here you will have to slide down and go to the down okay here you will get a two option the first option is showing here face recognition and the second option is showing your fingerprint okay so simply you will have to click on this first option that is showing your face recognition here you will get a pop-up of continue simply you will have to click on this continue option five times one two three four and five now after this this process has been done you will have to go to the back option now again you will have to go to the back option here okay now after this you will have to go to this account and backup uh, account and backup option okay here you will get an option of a uh, backup data simply you will have to click on this here it will ask you to add account here okay but here you can see here again asking here your pattern of pin lock so you don't have to worry about this simply you will have to go to the back option again again you will have to go to the back you will have to click on this option go to the agree here it's not working so don't worry at all you will have to go to the back option here now you will have to go to the option of general management you will have to go to the back option you will have to again go to the back option you will have to go to the general management here simply you will have to change this language english uk go to the back again you will have to go to the back option here go to the about phone here software information you will get an option of android version and uh, if you're getting here android version 12 uh, you will have to click on this android version option 12 time and if you're getting here 13 then you will have to click on this android version option 13 time so here my android version is showing here android version 12 so i will click on this option 12 time 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 and 12 now this method has been done simply you will have to go to the back option you will have to click on this software information and uh, again go to the back option go to the back option okay now after that you will have to you will have to go to the option of biometrics and security and you will have to go to the option fingerprint okay so you will have to click on this fingerprint option and you will get a pop-up like this you will have to continue here for five time again two three and four and five now the both security has been done i mean to say fingerprint and uh, face lock both has been given to this android samsung android smartphone now after this again you will have to go to the back option and you will have to again go to the back option okay now after this you will have to do some more changes here you will have to click on this alert when click uh, clipboard accessed you will have to go to the option of privacy and uh, switch on this option go to the back option now again you will have to go to the back and close this now all the setups has been done here after that simply you will have to go to the start page again here and again you will have to start here
check all these options go to the agree here again agree this option go to the next click on this don't copy option now let's check what happened now you can see here my friend you are getting here a skip option at the bottom left side as you uh, seen uh, early you are you were not getting here any skip option on this page so uh, with the help of some tips and tricks and with the changes some main changes in your samsung android smartphone you can get this skip option okay so if you also want to unlock your uh, if you also want to frp bypass of on your samsung android smartphone you can use this method to unlock your smartphone samsung android smartphone okay so now after this you can simply access your android smartphone simply you will have to go to the skip option here and skip this page now after this you will get an option to use new pin pattern or password so if you want to use new pin pattern or password you can use here but uh, right now i will go with this skip option skip anyway okay One more thing I would like to tell you my friend if your phone is unlocked with the help of this method then within one hour you will have to use new pin pattern or password otherwise your uh, previous uh, pin pattern and password will be activated again on your Samsung Android smartphone and you will have to use this method again. So kindly request you with this method you should uh, use new pin pattern and password within one hour okay. So go to the next option go to the skip now you will get a pop up or your all setup has been finished so simply you will have to click on this finish option go to the agree click on agree option so you can see here my friend my samsung android smartphone has been completely unlocked and the main thing is that you can see here all the application which were installed previously in my smartphone as it is showing in my smartphone so this is very beneficial for those customers uh, actually no one wants to lose their smartphones data so it's very beneficiary to unlock your samsung android smartphone so if your smartphone is unlocked with the help of this video then do the like this video and if your samsung android smartphone could not unlock with the help of this video then make us comment which version which series you're using samsung android smartphone our team will make a particular and a special video on that series and that version thank you so much see you in the next video